We've covered the aspects of long-term fuel trim migrating above 10% and all the different causes. Let's talk a little bit about negative fuel trims, numbers that are from negative 10 and beyond. Well, the first thing that comes to mind is leaky injectors will cause the engine to run rich. Obviously, the oxygen sensor will pick up the rich mixture and fuel trims will go negative. A fuel pressure regulator uh, that's defective causing fuel pressure to be high. Again, that will cause fuel trims to be negative. It's rare, but it does happen, a mass airflow sensor over-reporting load, meaning that there's really six grams of air per second coming into the engine, but the computer's reporting, or the mass airflow sensor's reporting 10. So we could have an over-reporting mass airflow. The computer would add fuel for the amount of air that it thinks is coming into the engine, which isn't real, the mass airflow is over-reporting, the oxygen sensor goes rich, and the fuel trims will go negative. Dedicated oxygen sensor ground. Most of the time our narrowband oxygen sensor will have four wires. We'll have power and ground for the heater, we'll have the zero to one volt signal, and then we will have the dedicated ground for that zero to one volt signal. What happens when we can't find ground, voltage goes high? So we could have a dedicated ground on either bank or maybe a dedicated ground for both left and right bank oxygen sensors. If we get a high resistance ground, the oxygen sensor voltage is going to stay above one volt. What's the computer going to think? It's going to think that the fuel mixture is rich and that's going to cause fuel trims to go negative. Now if any of these things have happened and the customer has driven the car over a period of time, don't forget to change the oil. You've got a PCV valve that's picking up crankcase vapors. If the engine's been running rich for any amount of time from a leaky injector, a bad fuel pressure regulator, an over-reporting mass airflow sensor, now the oil is contaminated with fuel. You're still going to be on the rich side of the equation. Fuel trims may get a little better, but let's say that they were negative 25. We replaced the over-reporting mass airflow sensor, now they're negative 12. Well, we're still out of spec. We need to be negative 10 to positive 10. Change the oil, and now the long-term fuel trims shift closer to 0.0%. Don't forget that the longer we drive the vehicle running rich, the more it's going to contaminate the oil.